welcome to the Pilates Mixed Level. And um, if those are new, just be mindful, take your time. I will also always give like a chill break or child's pose break. Um, my name is Sherry, and um, we can just get your mat rolled out and let's get started. So from here, we're gonna come take a seat on the mat, in the front of your mat, and the feet are about hip width distance apart. And we're gonna do what they call a, a roll back, just to warm up our core. So we're gonna, first, we're gonna start doing the first principle, it's called the, the breathing, as we move. So we're gonna sit up tall with our hands behind our thighs, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna tuck the chin toward the chest. You're gonna pull the navel in toward the spine, and you're gonna roll back. If it's okay, if your toes come off the mat. And as we breathe in, we're gonna sit up tall with a slight hip to get up high. On the next exhale, we're gonna roll back. If you want, you bring your thighs up toward your, your hands by your knees. And then your hands move up behind the knee joint as you inhale. Let's do that. Two or three more times. Exhale, round back. You can go as far as you can go. As long as if you fall down, that's fine. We can start it again. So exhale, round back. Breathe in out through the mouth. And as we inhale, if you can, breathe in through the nose to recruit your core. Let's exhale two more times. Roll back. And then inhale. Warming up the core, warming up the low back. So from here, we're going to exhale, we're going to hold here. We're going to reach our arms up high. And then you're going to try to keep your bottom rib down towards your hip bone. You can go back a little further and you can come back. And then as we here, we're going to just move the arms up, not past the ears, and then exhale, we're going to have the hand aligned with the shoulders. We inhale, reach our arms up, and then exhale. Let's do that three more times. Warm it up the shoulders. Try to keep your ribs down towards the rib bottom rib, towards your hip bone. And then inhale, coming up with the arms. So we're challenging. Nothing is moving but the shoulder joint. Moving the arms up and down. One more time, take a breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna roll over. And then you're gonna stack the spine and come back. From here, we're going to take our arms and the fingertips reaching toward each other. And from here, we're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to roll back. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, twist toward me. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, twist our arms toward the back. And if you can't stand, your round back. And then exhale, come back toward the center. This is a level one, just a warming up the core. Then inhale, reach up, and exhale, curl, and just flex. Keep your spine flexed and reach toward the opposite back. And then inhale, come to center, and then exhale, twist and rotate the spine. One more time, reach your arms up, and then exhale, and then. From here, let's stretch our legs long, take a deep breath in, and the knees can stay bent if, you're, if, you're, if your back is bothering you. And if you're rounding your back too much, you're going to stretch your spine forward if you try to go. Those who want to stay with the knees bent, do that. And those who want a little more challenge, keep the legs straight, keep your thighs together, tuck your chin towards your chest, and exhale, roll back. How deep you can go. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, we're going to lower and lift the arms. So let's exhale, reach your arms up this time. Inhale, roll in. Those who want to keep the knees bent and do it that step. That set the second time I showed you, that's fine. The knees bend. Three more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Little shaking is fine. Two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, move, moving toward the rotation of the spine. Inhale to repair. And as we exhale, we're just going to reach our arms over toward the front, toward me, and then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist and rotate, spine behind, and then come back to center on the next breath in. Repeat it, moving at your own pace. Knees can be extended, or knees can be bent. Inhale to center. 
Exhale, twist. Go to the other side. Come back to center. Let's do two more, just like that. Exhale, rotate. If you're going to lean back a little bit. And then inhale, come back. So we're just warming up a little piece. And if we can, take an inhale, reach up. Slightly to look up toward the ceiling. And as we exhale, soften the knees and reach toward, toward your toes. Stretch your spine forward. Again, the knees can be bent. We're going to do one more set. Or let's try with the knees bent for those who are going to add on. So we're going to do the roll back again. Take an inhale to prepare. As we exhale, we're going to roll back. And then as we inhale, we're going to form in the, the leg. The knee can be bent. And toe tap. Exhale up, inhale down. If you want a little more challenge, you can straighten the leg and reach up, and then lower the leg. So we can go up, exhale, inhale down. Give me three more. Up, two, up, three, exhale, reach, and release to come down. Let's try the other side. You could the front knee can be bent or extended. If you're going to start with extension, we exhale, roll back. And then inhale, form and the leg move this time. Perfect. Let's exhale, reach. And inhale, lower. Three more. Breathing out through the mouth and retreat your core. Two. And one. Nice. Let's come from here. We're going to reach, and use, reach over toward stretch your spine forward or stretch your legs out. We're going to do one more set. We're going to exhale, roll back. And this time, as we stretch the leg up, we're going to lower and lift. We're going to reach toward the back. Extend. We need to stay bent. We're going to do six. This is three. Here's four. We're still in the roll back. Navel in toward the spine. Five. One more time. And six. From here, let's extend the spine and reach up. Almost warmed up. Exhale. Flex the spine and roll back. Knee can be extended or bent. And then reach your fingertips toward front in the front toward knee. That's two. Inhale down. Exhale up. Arm can move. A little more challenge with that. Stabilizing the spine. Three more. Exhale. Inhale, low. Two. Perfect. And three. Perfect work. And let's extend the spine. Look up. And as we breathe out, we're going to reach for the toes. Break the inhale to prepare. As we exhale, keeping your ears between your biceps. And looking for the chin toward the little pretend that you have a ball underneath your chin. And then you're going to tuck your tail under and reach. Try to keep your rib cage down and line with your hip bone. Reach your arms overhead. And then exhale, we're going to practice a roll up. Let's start with the knees bent. Tuck your chin. And as we exhale, is this one? You can go this way. Or if you want more work, you can extend the arms and then reach for your toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, curl back. Tuck your tailbone under. And if you extend your arms over, put the knees bent. All right, stand. Make sure your bottom rib is down. Tuck your chin. Take a breath in. And exhale, curl back. Let's do three more. Extended roll back. Back, rolling down and rolling up. Two, again, the knees can be bent. Inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, curl up. Try to keep your legs together if the knees are extended. And then we're going to stack the spine, bring our hands back behind. From here, let's start with our feet bent. And we're going to tuck the chin, and we're going to bring our hands onto our forearms. We're going to try to keep, again, the bottom rib, if you want, Make sure if you put your fingertips underneath your glutes to keep your bottom rib down. Or you can take your head and you can lower your, your uh, shoulder blades from your head on the mat. From here, we're going to take both legs up. 
and we're gonna bring the heels together, toes apart to work in your thighs. And from here, we're gonna extend, double leg stretch, and then exhale in. Again, inhale, extend, and then exhale in. Let's do a few more. And then again, you, can, you don't have to point your toes, a little more activated in the, the muscles, in the legs, as you point and extend. Now from here, let's start with our knees bent, because we're gonna do what they call a crisscross. And we're gonna take four down, and, and we're gonna extend and bring the heels together up. So we're gonna take a breath in, as we exhale, we're gonna twist, twist, rotate, rotate, and then we're gonna bring the legs up. And if we're working on more work, more challenge, we're gonna take a breath in, rotate, 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 heels together, exhale, up. So either way, we're gonna to try to do eight. So we'll move more into the deep core muscles. That's three. Inhale, exhale, up. Four. Five, breathe out and bring your heels together and lift the legs up. Six, heels together, up. Seven, heels together. Use your core to bring the legs up. Eight, again, the knees can be bent. Let's release the feet. Let's roll down and stretch. Those good muscles that we just made strong on our core. Right here, let's bring our feet underneath our knees, hands behind the head. Fingertips are slightly glassy, clasping together so the elbows can stay wide. Inhale, tuck your chin. As we exhale, we can curl up to level one, and then we're gonna come back down. Take an inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, curl up, look between your thighs, and you go one, two, Three, and release. For those who want more work, take your feet off the floor. Take your knees in line with the hips. Take an inhale, exhale, curl it up. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, and release. Either way is fine. Inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, curl up. And release. Looking up here at the sky, you lift your head down, tuck your chin, take a breath in, exhale, curl up. And those who have their legs up in the air, if you want to extend the knees as you curl up, do so. Inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, curl up. And release. Two more. Exhale. Perfect. Elbow stay wide. Take a breath in, tuck your chin. And release. From here, let's bring our big toes together. And everyone can try that. Imprint your spine, so your low back, your lumbar spine is onto the mat. Toes together, heels apart. So take a deep breath in, exhale, lower, tap if you can, and release. Keep the rear cage closed. Down, zip, and wrap your core muscles around your waistline. Five, we're gonna go three, let's go for eight. Toes touch. Chin tangerine or a little tennis ball under the chin. And inhale down, exhale up. Let's do two more. Um, slightly tuck the chin. One, let's add on. You can stay here. You can lift, let's do the upper body. The lower of the legs stay still in space. Take an inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, pull up. And release, inhale up to the side. Seven more, exhale, and release. Let's go three, tuck your chin, and breathe out, exhale. Elbow stay in one, and that's five. Inhale, lower, six. One more time, work in the upper abs. Lift it up your chin, exhale, six. And add in the upper and the lower body if we can. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up together. One, two, three. 
three, three things. Let's try to do seven more if you can. Take an inhale, exhale. And release, working those deep abdominal muscles for three. Exhale, tuck your chin, curl up. Try to move the elbows. And let's go for four. Yeah, curl up a little bit more if you can. Shoulders, rib cage, activating those core muscles. Inhale, exhale. Shoulder blades off. Two, three, tailbone off. Two more. Inhale, tuck your chin, exhale. And one more just for good luck. Inhale, tuck your chin, exhale. Perfect. Let's extend the knees. Oh, you can keep your knees bent. Let's bring our heels together, or it's by your sides. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to do a traditional exercise. It's called lower uh, scissors. Take. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lower. One leg down, and then come back up. Let's do the second side. Exhale. Inhale, I'm sorry. And exhale up. One more word. Take your hands behind your head. Bring your chest across it. Continue to keep your head on the mat. If you feel that you don't want to lift your head up, if it's too much for your upper core. Walk in the upper and the lower core. For those who want more work, take your chin. Take a breath in. Exhale, curl up. From here, take a breath in. Switch, lower. And then release. Lower. And release. Now go one, you can alternate. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, come up. So it's called a leg scissor on the back. Two more on each side if we can. Again, the knees can stay bent. Lower, lower, exhale up. One, one, exhale up. One more on each side. Perfect. From here, let's curl up a little higher. Reach your warm if you can, tuck your chin, and then release your hands. Let's bring our knees in toward our chest, and let's rock side to side to release your low back. From here, let's take it to the glutes and the hamstrings. Let's open our arms by our side, pulling our bones, our shoulder. Arm bones on the mat, our shoulders wide. Let me try to scrape your feet towards your heels. And we're just going to come into our bridge. So take a deep breath in through your nose to prepare. And as we exhale, press up with your shoulders, with your arm, and upper arm bones. And then lift the pelvis off of that. And from here, we're going to roll it down one vertebrae at a time. If you want, you want to stay doing that, that's fine. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can bring come onto your tippy toes. The heels are off the mat, the balls of the feet, pressing down, spread your toes, open your shoulders wide, take an inhale, exhale, curl it up. We're staying here, and from here, we're gonna open the legs and close, and we're closing the thighs for eight, that's it, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. From here, let's do another step. One, more two. As long as you stay in control, you can go as fast as you can. Two, three, four, five, six. From here, we're gonna go up and down with pulses. If you feel connected with your shoulders, you can bring your palms facing each other, arms off the mat. Imagine that you're squeezing the Pilates ring, pressing your palms on the pads of that ring. Imagine that you have a ball between your thighs as you press that little ball to work your glutes. So go up and down, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's lift, release your palms, lower your heels to the mat, and then let's articulate one vertebrae down at a time. Let's stretch our legs long, knees can stay bent, and we're gonna do that roll up again. If we bring our arms back over here, make sure your bottom ribs stay down, 
take a breath in, tuck your chin as we exhale, bring the curl up, and you can oh, that's fine, that's fine. Bring your legs together if you want to take a little bit further, deep breathing, reach for your toes. And then from here, we're going to all meet up to the top, back our spine, and open our arms out wide. From here, we're going to do and rotate the spine, and we're going to, what they call, this one is a twist, spine twist. So take a breath in, and then sit up nice and tall in your sit bone. But there's an issue today that you can't do that. Just fine, just bend your knees. Take a breath in. As we exhale, we're going to rotate from your waist to the rib cage, your shoulders, and then we're going to come back to center. Try not to move the pelvis. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Let's go over the shoulder, come back to center. Again, if we bring it up, twist, 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 come back to center. Look at your toes. Make sure they don't move as much. So we're twisting and rotating from the waist up. So exhale, 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 come back to center. We're gonna do two more on each side. Really wing out that waistline. And come back to center. Let's do that three more times. One more time. Two, three. And we take the other side and come back. Exhale, twist, twist, and come back to center. Reach your arms, and we're going to stretch our spine forward. You can reach for the toes, your ankles, your palms on the mat, and just breathe here. Take a breath in, and then slowly we're going to stack our spine up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your hands down. From here, let's turn our legs, and we're going to come on our belly. Working those upper mid back muscles. Take our raised legs wide. Take our arms up to a 45 angle degree angle. Take your arms out to a 45 degree angle. Just starting with that, keep your pubic bone down. Feeling your thigh bone connected to the mat. Hovering the, your nose off the mat. And we're just going to take it to the upper body. Take an inhale, palms facing down a little bit. And that's a look. We're doing eight. So inhale. And exhale, look. Three. Breathe out your mouth. Four. And through your nose if you can. Five. Five. Next, stay long. Don't jerk the head. Six. Seven. Strong arms. Eight. Nine. Just one more is fine. Now from here, we're going to take it to the lower body. And we're going to keep the upper body still and stay. The next day long, hovering, looking down at your, hovering and looking down at your, uh, your mat. And so take a breath in, and we're going to lift the legs as high as we can today. Feeling the pubic bone down on the mat. Seven. Six. Back of the body. Sit. Five, four, I'm sorry. Three. Lift those legs. Not that high is you don't have to go as high. It's just a matter of trying not to feel that tension in your low back. One more time. We're going to take the arms and the legs up together. If we can, take a deep breath in. Hands up. Lift them over. Here we go. For three. Four, four, five, four, six, seven, one more time, and eight. Stay here if we can. Let's bring the heels together. Keep looking down at your back and your elbows and by your side, and then bring the heels there. Try to keep your thighs off the mat. Squeeze and work those muscles in the leg. There's two. And so pull it in, heels touch. So we're keeping the bottom rib cage on the mat. Four. Five. Six. Take a water break of your knee. Seven. One more time. Working those deep postural muscles. Eight. Perfect. 
Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, press the mat away. Let's bring your toes together and come into a shell stretch just to catch and find that deeper breath. When you're ready, take your time, roll up through your spine, and then we're going to come onto our knees. Let's keep our knees in line with our hips and our shoulders in line. Our knees and knees in line with the hips and the shoulders in line with the wrist. And if it's not an issue, from now, you can put the fist with the wrist. Otherwise, you can get your palms in position with your wrist. And make the fist instead of pressing your palms down. Now the left leg, right leg go back, point the toes, left arm roll, out. Like you're shaking your hand, thumb pressing out. So from here, we're gonna take the arm of the leg in a 45 degree angle as we breathe in to prepare, exhale, out, and again. Exhale, out, breathe in. Try not to move the spine. So this is four. Five, six, and when you're breathing, exhale out, inhale back in. Seven, now one more. Let's keep the leg and the arm out, and we pulse for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want another one, let's go one more. Seven, six, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Let's extend and reach and release. Take a break if you need before we do the other side. Then a water break, a water break if you need. When you're ready, we're gonna come back on our forward position again. Shoulders and wrists and knees and hips and go in a straight line. And this time, stay the left leg. Back and then point those left toes down and reaching your right fingertips form forward. Fingertips are pressing forward, thumb pressing out. We're going to inhale to prepare, and as we exhale, the leg and the arm go out. Perfect. Exhale out, inhale back in. Here's three, four. I'm just turning my head to look at you just to see how you're doing, but. Please stick, keep your head down for the mat. Five, six, seven, and eight. Hold here if you can, and you can go pulsing the arm and the leg for eight. Two sets if you can. One, two, breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One more time if you can. One, two, mile five, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to stretch the leg a little more, reach, squeeze the glute, and release. Good work. Let's do this for me. Now to the mat. Let's take our shell stretch. Forehead can be onto the mat. You can step one palm on top of the other. Whatever feels comfortable for you and your body today. From here, we're going to bring your hands back behind. We're going to roll up through the spine and take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Lift those palms up. Just get a nice stretch. And then from here, we're going to be in the back of the mat. So come toward the back of your mat. And we're going to tuck the chin, and we're going to stand up, but just keep the knees slightly bent. So we exhale, lower the heels down, and we're going to lower your heels to our toes, and bend your knees as much as you can. Set your heels tight in your hamstring. Relax your fingertips. It's a rag doll. Stacking one vertebra at a time, and let the head fold up nice and tall, long as you sit and come up to standing. Let's take a breath in, reach up, and then exhale, we're going to dive forward, chin tucked toward the chest, rib cage in, then going toward the spine, and bend the knees, the fingertips touch, and walk our hands back. 
We're going to find that plank position. And we're going to have the knees on or off the mat. Let's bring one foot in now and then the other. And again, if we're modifying and keep your knees off the mat, and if you feel like you want to take one leg up, you modify, do that. But those who want to go a little bit deeper, stay here and take a breath. For eight, seven, six, feel the neck come off. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. And from here, we're going to flip over. You're on your knees, just come to your side. And then we're going to bring this one up. And we're going to come back to the other side. This is your modifying. And from here. Now, those who want with straight legs, you can have your heels together. And we're going to come, and we're going to reach on up. And then we're going to come back and switch to the other side. So we're just rotating one side. You try to arch your hips away from the mat. Those who want more challenge, you lift the leg up and down. So everybody has something to do. And we're going to go, and we're going to do three more sets. From here, two more sets. Either way, you can have the knees bent, and you're going to lift up here. Or, again, you can just twist to the side. You don't have to lift the arms up. You lift the leg up, and the knees. If you lower the knees, and let's come to a nice shell stretch. And then here we're going to ripple through the spine. That thing one going up at a time. We inhale, reach up. Arms touch, legs thin, the elbows up, and the knees. Now from here, let's break. Come to the side of our mat. You're going to make a long line from the back of your, your mat, the edge of your mat. And we're going to see if we can stack the hips, bottom, top hip on the bottom, on this side at the bottom. And if you want to spin this bottom arm, and you stretch your hips there on the back. You have your fingertips touching the mat of your palm. So we're going to lift the lower body. We're going to stabilize the upper from the waist up, the shoulder, the head, and the neck. Find a comfortable position. Let's breathe in to prepare. And as we exhale, we're going to lift both legs up and lower. Seven. You don't have to go up so high. Relax the top shoulder. Five. Four. And if we want, be mindful to keep a little space on the bottom where our waistline is. Perfect. And then two more, and if we can, we can try to keep our legs up. It doesn't have to be up so high. You can have them low. You can again have the knees bent and have that palm pressing. So, and then we're going to lift the top leg and the lower. We're going to touch and then release the bottom leg or the knee. And then lift them and together. So the top leg is up, and we're going to bring that knee like a magnet, let it touch. Or the leg up and bring it up here. And if you want more challenge for those who are lifting the legs up, you can take your hand off the mat. And then go touch and lower. Exhale. Pull it in. Lower. Elbows, top elbows stay wide. Up and lower. Three more times. Two. And one. And let's release both legs. Bring that palm back down. We don't do the side scissors. We were on our back earlier doing our warm up, doing the scissors with the legs apart, going back and forth. So we'll try this on our side. And if you want to really try to work on trying to keep your, your transverse, your ribs um, down and your transverse, like you have a girdle around your waist, or you have your exercise belt on. So you can try to keep your bottom rib there off the mat. Oh, that's fine today. We'll work on that later. So let's lift the legs, both legs up, or the knees are up. And we're gonna stretch, and we're gonna go. So one leg forward, the bottom leg forward, and then we're gonna switch and take the top leg forward and the back leg back. And again, if we're using our knees bent, we just twist this way. So use your breath. 
Every time you move a little, you move your leg one way, you breathe. So in, and if you want to go faster, breathe in, in, and then out. It's okay to breathe to make that breath sound coming out of your mouth. In, and then out. One more time. In, in, and then out. Let's bring our legs together. And then from here, let's bring our knees in. And then let's bring our knees in line, our hips in line with our knees. And we're going to open the toes to tip, tip, have your knees off the mat. Have your knees off the mat. And then we're going to open the knees out. We're going to close, open, and close. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, close. Two, it's a clam position. Three, so we're working on the glutes, the, um, the, the minimus, the little glutes on the side. Four, five, six, stay here, seven. And the next set, for those who want to extend the top leg, touch the toes, bend the knees. Either way, it's fine. Up the toes and the knees. This is three, four. Again, we can just keep the knees open and closed, or we can extend the top leg for a little more work in this exercise. One more, wherever we are, it's fine. Perfect. Let's release and close. And from here, we're going to switch and take the other end of the mat to do the side, the opposite side. Sorry, I need to take a water break. Be my guest and get sip some water. All right, let's try this on the other side. Again, if we're gonna just look at the the edge of the mat, the back of the mat. Let's try to see if we can stack our hips and bring our hip bone back toward that mat and then release the top head on the arm, the bottom arm. And from here, again, if we're taking or modifying, we're going to lift both knees up and we're going to stop leg. We're going to eat the lower from here. One for eight, two, three, four. Breathe out. Breathe in, each way, either way. I prefer breathing out to lift the legs up in this exercise, but if it works for you the other way, that's fine. Try some of the legs straight if you want, up and down. Hips, hips, top, bottom hips stay straight underneath the top. Now if you want more work, top leg up and then close, and then lower the bottom leg, top leg, Bottom leg, reach to the top leg, I'm sorry. Exhale, squeeze and come together. Good. This will be three, four, five. Exhale, six. If you want seven, a little more work this side. Eight. Now from here, we're gonna do our running exercise, our split scissors on the side. So we breathe in, extend the Bottom leg forward, and then the top leg. Exhale. Good. You can go fast. One, two. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. And then exhale. Exhale. It's going to be about three more. Exhale. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Exhale. Perfect. Let's bend those knees into our, our chest so we can do that clam shell again. So we're going to lift the knees off the mat. Then we're going to close and open and close. Actually, the, the bottom knees stay on the mat, but the toes stay off the mat. Up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you feel it in that gluteus minimus on the side. You can imagine doing this while you're watching TV, just to feel, hey, I'm working my glutes. You can bring your arms up, 
And again, you try to keep that little mouse house underneath the ribs, the bottom rib. And if you want to take the straight, the leg, bend and close. So we're going to do eight, seven more. Lift. Side. 
Uh, feel your shoulders, your shoulder blades, and your shoulders connected to the mat. Maybe you want to start making some circles to cross the on the ceiling with your toes, and then take that down there. Perfect. Again, really pressing the heel down, flexing the foot on the bottom, or pointing the toes. Sometimes if you're a little bit, you point, you get a little cramp there. Don't make a candy cane. You want to bend the bottom knee, that's fine. You keep it extended, tuck your chin, take a breath in. You can think about bringing your knee and towards your nose. A little more than a stiffer stretch here. Breathe. And we're slowing down the breath here. And then we're going to walk the hand back down. And then straighten us, keep that bottom knee. Let's straighten the bottom knee if we can. You can keep it slightly bent. And we're just going to do a three way stretch. Taking your, your um, back arm down toward the mat, palm down. And again, if you have the knee bent, that's fine. You can just curl over. Try to anchor that bottom shoulder and then feel that stretch here in your IT band. And if you can, look up to the ceiling or turn and look over towards your opposite shoulder. Breathe into your low back. For those who want to come out of here, like there, both arms pressing down, take a breath in. And exhale, lift that leg up. If it goes and modify, you can bend the knee and bring it up. Your choice. And then straighten that leg and send it along. From here, let's straighten the opposite leg out. And then take a deep breath in and exhale, curl it up. You can bring as close as it feels comfortable in your body. Feel that stretch in that back hamstring, that front hamstring. Look in the camera. You can make circles with your toes. You can keep your head down on the back. And then you get the opposite. Now with that three-way stretch, and if your knee is bent, that's fine. You can take the knee bent over and straighten your leg. And then reach. Then stretch that IT band out. Then look over the opposite shoulder and look up at the sky. Breathe. Turn low back. Then coming out the pose, you can have a lot of fine bend both knees. And then come here. Let's name this tip of the soles, the little toes together, heels apart, legs forward. Knees down, the thighs are open wide, knees out. Hands behind. And we're going to do work those obliques one more time. Take an inhale and an exhale. We're going to rotate the opposite elbow, the left elbow toward the left thigh of the knee, and then come back to center. Then let's go exhale, reach the other side. And then. Four more. Inhale to the middle, exhale to each side. Two more on each side, two sets. And then one more. Inhale, exhale. And we come up one more time and release. Let's stretch our legs long. Reach our arms overhead, take a deep breath in, tuck your chin. And as we exhale, let's curl it up. Knees in, try standing. And then reach our arms up, open the legs out. And take your arms out to the side. And for a saw, we're going to take a breath in, breathe in. Exhale, twist. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to reach to the saw. Go them toward, returning toward the me, and you can have your fingertip perch your pinky toe, and then come back to center. Inhale, come back. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, reach. Keep the opposite hip on the mat, and side to side. 
and come back to center. Breathe in to prepare, exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lift up. Come back to center. Inhale, prepare, exhale, twist. Breathe like that. And one more like that. On each side, take a breath in. Exhale, rotate your spine. Reach for your toes. And exhale, come on. Inhale, reach. One more time. And come back to center. And let's bring our palms down. Let's go to our legs. Bring our knees. And let's come into our mermaid. Modifying with the knees bent. And then one foot pressing in between that thigh. And that's way, it's not my best way to do this. If you want to try it, fine. And you can, what we're going to do is we're going to move side to side with our arms. So let's press down. Let's press that back palm down. So whichever foot that's in front and, and facing the uh, inner thigh with the right arm, it's going to bring that arm up. So breath in, reach, relax your shoulders. And as we exhale, bring the opposite elbow. And for that stretch, you can go look up towards the sky, look up through your palm, open your chest up towards the sky. Breathing, I look you down. And then as we exhale, we're going to twist and go to the other side. Breathe in, exhale, rotate. So, so you're opposite to your shield, ears over your shoulder. And then inhale. Next, I'll bring the hand down. Again, one arm, arms up. Exhale, reach. A nice long spine. Breathing into the intercostal muscles on that side. And inhale, reach your arm up. And then exhale, seesaw to the other side. Keeping the bottom knees always, especially the knee that you're reaching, opposite knee that your arm's reaching. Try to keep that knee down toward the mat as much as you can. Feeling the bottom, the top of your lobe underneath the shoulder. Breathe into that intercostal muscles on that side. And release. Let's switch sides. We're reaching and sitting down on our sit bone. Our spine is nice and long. Really press that opposite hip down. Feels like sometimes it's going to lift off the mat. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the leg, bend the opposite, the bottom of the elbow. So you really feel that opening sensation. Looking up, heart reaching up to the ceiling. Tuck the chin slightly towards your chest. Breathe in, come up. Exhale, other side. And then release. Take a breath in, really root that. Hip bone as you reach your fingertips away, the opposite way, and stretch. Breathe. And exhale, come back up. And then reach up. And then reach. And then come back. And then let's come. All the way facing the front of our mat one more time. And then you come all the way down. And then take a nice, um, for those who want to um, integrate all the movements that we did in our practice, we want to probably come back and lay on our backs before we exit the class. So we're going to breathe in where we started. And as we exhale, we're going to roll it down. Keep the legs together. Again, you can extend. And we're going to scoop, feel that nice bowl shape in your spine. And we're going to lower it down one vertebra at a time. And we're going to bring our arms out to the sides. We want to bring them into, let's say, a 45 degree angle. And the legs are opening slightly. The toes are pointing, locking out towards the corners of the mat. Soften your fingertips, maybe curl your fingertips, and then releasing the energy from your body, slightly tuck the chin. You want to close your eyes and breathe naturally. Just wind down. So 
from the rise and fall of the earth, the dominoes. Let's scan the top of the head through the toes. Any tension, let it go. Good to sit still in our mind body practice before we go facing the world, but back to our normal routine. Let's release any tension in the forehead. Let's let the mouth fall from the roof of the mouth, the tongue fall from the roof of the mouth. Just surrender. Start making some movements. Maybe turn your head side to side. And then just bring your head to center. Let's start making some wiggles with our little fingers. And take it on thumb and touch it each finger with a little touch. Maybe make some circles with our ankles. And then let's try that other way. Circle with your ankle. Face together, our knees can be bent, our feet can be flat on the mat. We can take our roll up one more time in our practice today. Tuck your chin, and as we exhale, roll it up. Bring your hands down. Let's bring your maybe crisscross the legs. Let's up nice and tall. Bring the palms in front of our heart. Bring our thumb to our third eye, between our eyeballs, and let's tuck our chin and bow our head. And thank you for coming.